It is time for some more Raven Heli into Grandmaster. In the last episode, we managed to get Diamond 1, 4.1k MMR. If we get like a nice winning streak going, we could get Master League even in this episode. So let's go. All right, so for the first game, we got a Protoss. Now, I've been listening to a lot of your feedback on the Raven Hellion series. Um, I think the most prominent feedback is that you guys don't like my name, Raven Man. Uh, and I get it. I mean, I'm going to be brutally honest here and say that I had absolutely no inspiration. I was thinking for like... 30 minutes to an hour what I should call my account but nothing else came up and then at some point I just wanted to get started you know so I just called myself Raven Man and now we're gonna play under Raven Man maybe actually thinking about it guys I'm pretty sure the latter season is gonna end soon which means that I would get another name change if you guys do have any uh, good suggestions for a new name that I could totally uh, still change it because I do agree that Raven Man is not the most original greatest name ever and I think since this challenge is so hard, I didn't consider this before, but since this challenge is so hard, I probably don't want the people to know that I'm only going to make ravens, right? Uh, that's a pretty important thing. Now, feedback that I have for myself from the last few episodes is it's mostly gameplay related. Um, I want to make... Or I want to try to make less Hellions and more Command Centers early on. Because I really want to get to like a 4-5 base setup with a lot of PFs. And then I can really showcase the power of the Raven. Uh, or the lack of the power of the Raven, of course. I don't know how, uh, how it's going to go yet. But I think that is a good idea. Now, this is mostly... I wouldn't say easy to do, but... If it's easier to survive against Zerg. Against Protoss, I am a little bit afraid to just go up to 3 CCs like that. So against Protoss, I will probably... Uh, play roughly the same but i just want to try and expand a little bit faster now of course as always guys if you're new to the show or you just haven't subscribed yet for whatever reason make sure to subscribe don't miss out any any future videos turn on the notifications and all that good stuff and then uh, you guys will be able to enjoy my challenges and give me feedback so i can make them even better for you guys now i'm really happy this proto send is pro back you know what one nightmare that i have as a terran uh, and i think if you guys play terran on the ladder you probably share this it's really annoying to have a probe just attack your SCVs all the time while they're building stuff, right? Now, with this challenge, I'm actually not making a Reaper or Marine. I'm just making Hellion Raven, at least for phase one. And in the Ghost challenge, that's okay, because I'm going to make a unit from the barracks. But here, I would actually need to fly over my factory. So if there's a probe harassing this, it would actually be very annoying. Now, I should probably keep this SCV around to keep getting a good scout. I actually think the SCV gives me enough scouting info, so the lack of Raven is really not the biggest... Or the, the ra lack of Reaper, sorry, is really not the biggest deal here. I still need to figure out how to do my build properly, because it still feels weird as hell. Uh, when does my CC finish? Oh, that timing is pretty alright. His Adept should be out already. Um, or Stalker, of course. Let's see. Oh, he just kept it in his main. Well, obviously, he's probably expecting a Reaper. So that is a small benefit of our challenge. Uh, he's waiting for the Reaper that's not even coming. And now I have Hellions out very fast. Now, like I said, I don't want to make too many Hellions early on because I actually want to transition. One thing that is potentially scary is that... I, you know, I can make a bunker at the front, but I can't put any units inside. And that's the main reason why I want to get to five bases really fast. Because my idea... Is that I get PFs even at my third base and my fourth base. And then I have an additional base that kind of... You know, I could put it like here or here maybe. And then I would really have my bases covered with PFs. Now, I want to at least make four Hellions early on. To maybe roam the map, deny in the depth or something like that. And I also need to figure out what a good timing for the eBay is. Because a lot of you have expressed a very valid concern. Which is simply air units uh, like if an oracle would come into my base i'd probably not be very happy okay was that a robo okay um yeah this is kind of what i was talking about in the intro that this guy is making that's probably four yeah four gateways and a robo and i think the only way i can possibly hold this is if i just spam units like crazy now i could also try to harass with my raven but i really want to try the defense where i enter armor missile all of his units uh, and then just fry them with Hellions and maybe SEVs too. That's what I want to try. I think I definitely do not want to trade my Hellions for workers right now because then I might just die to the attack. Like I, I have um, I have a snowballer unit composition, if you will. So if I trade a bunch of these Hellions for workers and lose, you know, the edge, then I'm probably going to have a tough time. Well, he just has an Adept here. I can probably kill this Adept actually. Actually, batteries are pretty good. Oh, I got him to use the overcharge. That's not bad. All right. Now, I think it's a good time to make my third base. 
Hope I'm not being too greedy. You know what my uh, build would actually be insane against, by the way? I didn't think of it. I just thought of this right now. Against DT drop. Because I would have a Hellion Raven. And I could actually chase down the DTs. I even have two Ravens at this point. Now, is this something I could roam the map with? I don't know. I'm also going to get my gases. Yeah, that's one. I can't actually kill that. Uh, I would have to use auto turrets for it. He's probably surprised. Like, what the hell is this unit composition, bro? I'm not Zerg. Um... I mean, wait, I'm actually gonna go back and kill it. I'm gonna be sneaky. Maybe he won't see it coming. Oh, it's... I'm not sure if I would kill it. I don't think I would kill it, actually. Okay. So here comes the attack. Um, I mean, yeah, once again, making a bunker anything is useless. So I will just have to use my units perfectly. Okay, yeah, it is a four-gate blink. This is the build I was so afraid of with the uh, ghost challenge. And now I feel like one of the first games against Protoss, it's already gonna happen. Let's see, he hasn't quite gone in yet. I'm gonna try to missile him early. Maybe it works. There we go. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. Well, maybe I can even get on top of the prism. Looks like I might be able to. There we go. Prism might go down here. At least the stalkers are taking so much damage. Can I put that? Oh, it doesn't quite reach. Yo, these aliens are fragging right now, guys. Look at that. Let's get two extra. Alright, this was a good defense. Now he's starting to split his units, which is... The counter to my units um so that is well done by him you could tell the difference right between the start of the fight and the end like when he started splitting his units i i started getting a hard time as well now let me get perfect react he's probably going to continue attacking me so i'm not out of the woods just yet but i am getting i got my ebay right yeah i did get my ebay so i will be able to i'm actually gonna kill this observer get fucked <laughs> finally there we go okay now well, he's actually not here anymore. That is interesting. Oh, wait, that's the wrong... Uh, shit. I can't actually defend this properly, I think. Um, yeah, this is a hard defense here. I do want to get this up as a PF, though. I'm just going to go for it. Drop an auto turret here. Maybe just scare him away. Auto turrets are... Hey, it actually worked perfectly. Yeah, he didn't blink here, so I'm actually going to be able to get on top of this, maybe. Oh, I, th I thought I dropped an auto turret. Here we go. Oh, he's looking rough, guys. I'm looking, losing a lot of units here. The auto terror is doing fantastic, though. No, not you. I did kill a lot of his units. Okay, now we're backing off a little bit. If he chases after me, I will actually have um, some more auto terrors. Like, I'm getting more ravens. Now, I just want to get my PF here. That's the plan. I'm going to prepare to get a PF on this side as well. Now, he's coming back. Oh, he has a lot of stuff. Yeah, I'm going to need some auto terrors here for sure. I mean, if he's going to do this kind of blink micro... No, I think he has too much. All right. Well, that is going to be... Perhaps... Well, actually, I'm not sure what MMR he was. This might be one of our fastest losses ever... Uh, for a challenge. And yeah, he, he did a strategy that clearly hard countered mine. Uh, the start was pretty good. I do have a lot of Raven still. Um, I, I think I'm a little bit unfortunate that he actually decided... To continue with the attack after failing. Oh, this could be potentially really good for us. Okay. This is the only chance. Okay. Please drop them. Maybe I can get the prism as well. Get the prism. Please. Okay. I mean, this fight is insane, actually, guys. I don't have energy on these guys, though. Okay. Well, we forced the blink out. I mean, we killed the prism, which is huge. I mean, like, the thing is, our supply is really good. But I'm just... I don't know if I'm still snowballing enough. Oh, he actually killed my reactor. Ugh. That's going to be really annoying. I'm going to make another CC here. I mean, I am still alive. Somewhat. That's good. I have an anti-armor missile, actually. That could be huge. Let's use that. Okay. Two turrets down. Should be nice. Maybe I can get a few more stalkers here. At least one. There we go. You know, base trading would actually not be the craziest thing ever here. Uh, with my ravens, I mean. Because I can probably survive with my SEVs, I think. Get another missile. That's a really good missile, yeah, let's go. Okay. Maybe I can actually chase this. Probably the best choice, I think. Oh, another one. I'm actually gonna disable that. There we go. Disable also cancels the warping, if you guys didn't know. Oh, I don't have enough energy here. I mean, he's standing in range of the auto turrets, which is fantastic. So he's gonna lose the prism now. Let's see. Oh, I need that. Okay. I mean, I only have two ravens left. I think, I think I've done as good of a job as I could. <laughs> but this is just one of those builds that I can't really defend. But I feel like I was pretty close. If he's gonna wait for... 
Uh, I, maybe I could have made a second factory thinking about it. That could have been one thing that could have saved me. I'm actually going to make this a PF. Who cares, guys? And maybe I'll get like a hidden base there or something. He's not around right now. He was also he was he wasn't playing four gate blink. He was playing like seven gate blink or something. By the way, so that also explains. Maybe a real four gate blink would have been holdable in this case. Okay, he's coming. Um, I mean, if this PF gets up, I will be safe for a bit. There's another missile. Okay, he dodged it pretty nice. I'll just draw another one to scare him off. Okay. Um, what is the play here, guys? Like he's probably gonna try to blink in my main. This prism should be, like, arriving at some point. Yeah, there it is. Okay. I mean, I'll just get ready to pull all these SCVs. And then I might actually be able to take a decent fight. Here we go. Okay. Maybe it's not that bad, I think. Oh, my SCVs are getting trapped here a little bit. He has so much stuff, though. Let's see. I mean, this was the best fight I could possibly take. But he has gotten us, I'm afraid. Um, the 6 or 7 gate blink stalker attack is going to be our first loss. And 9 gates. Okay, this guy needs to redo some math. I guess his macro was so bad that he could afford 9 gates. That's impressive. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, okay. The first loss of the series. Um, I'm not too upset about it. Like, this is just the hardest builder counter that can happen. Uh, it's, very, it's similar with the ghost challenge, really. If we play against this with ghost only, I would also die, even at low MMR. Uh, so that's it. I think we made a good effort next time. I might try to get two factories with Hellions instead of three starports. Um, maybe I was like a little bit too ahead. Like I feel like his execution of the build was not perfect. So I didn't even realize it was that many gates until later. If I realized that from the start, I would have made a second factory. Because a normal four gate blink is not that all in. But all right, first loss is done. Let's keep going. All right, now we got a Protoss. Okay. Um... I'm kind of scared of Protoss now, I'm not going to lie. I feel like a little bit uh, a little bit terrified. I, I think I'm a bit scarred by, um, you know, getting an early loss so fast. Because I think I think it was 3.9k MMR or so uh, that I just lost to. And before that, I think the lowest I lost to was probably 4.3 in one of the challenges. So that's definitely a big step down. Now, the thing is, I could probably try... To end the game faster with my Hellions. Like against that Protoss I had an opportunity to run it with my first four Hellions. But I really want to showcase the power of the Raven and see what I can do in this series. So especially before Masters. Like I feel I, I, I realized in the first two episodes or maybe the first episode. I was going a little bit too hard with the Hellions you know. And I didn't really enjoy winning the game by just running by my Hellions. Because it seemed like not really the point of the series for me at least that early on until people can defend them better but since i now lost the game i'm strongly considering just <laughs> you know right clicking my aliens in and trying to win the game early but i'm gonna try to stick to my challenge and try to make ravens if i do see a really obvious opportunity for damage i'll probably try to get in there but uh, otherwise i will try to stick to my ravens now there's a lot of builds to experiment with like that game i could have for example tried to get corvid reactor faster i could have tried to um get the second factory with the reactor so i would have had a lot of hellions that would also fit a little bit more of my strategy because i think i mentioned in the first episode that one thing i wanted to try was like the mass hellion surround against protos um so that would have fit a little bit better too so maybe we'll try that and i'm definitely not someone that's gonna give up after just uh, one or a few losses in a challenge so yeah here we go uh, i'm gonna scout there i hope this probe goes away so i don't have to uh struggle with lifting my my stuff i feel like no one has really done that yet right i haven't actually had any problems lifting up my factory putting it on the reactor and stuff okay so there's an expansion that is on the goose oh good sorry um i feel like i'm getting increasingly nervous now i i i feel like i had an episode recently where i lost most of the games and you know you, you guys are always nice to me but i still feel like you know I want to bring the hype. I want to make you guys believe in the series. Actually, uh, on the question whether you guys thought I would be able to get Grandmaster, I thought the answers were really funny. Because the answers were either... You'll probably get stuck in Masters because you don't have anti-air and stuff like that. And then the other half of the answers were something like, well... At this point, you can probably get GM with anything, so you're probably going to get Grandmaster. I thought it was really funny. Um, I do personally think... Especially because I just lost to a Diamond player. You guys might be changing your opinion right now on me being able to get GM uh, with Phase 1. But I guess we'll see. Now, I could actually try... I think someone mentioned in the comments that Catrock, a guy who's known for 
playing Mass Raven, basically. He does make Corvid Reactor before his first Raven. So that is actually something I could consider. Now, I do have to admit I've never seen him actually do a build. So I don't know if he plays Hellions like this, like I do. Uh, I would guess probably not. I imagine you'd probably open something like Marines. No. Actually, these two Hellions are going to win this pretty comfortably, I think. So that's nice. There we go. And then I could actually get a really fast third gas here. And then see if I can start my Corvid Reactor. There we go. I, I imagine this would be even worse against Oracle. Like if you play against Oracle or Void Ray and you don't even have the auto turret, then you're probably going to be pretty sad. Uh, but I guess we'll find out. Oh no! Why are you there? Wait. How, how do I have five Hellions? Don't I have a reactor? Why do I have five? What did I do? Maybe I guess one of them must have been supply blocked or something. Else that makes absolutely no sense. Okay, so there's another wall. And it seems like it's Stalkers again, which is slightly unfortunate. Um, let's see if I can get some. Yeah, okay, we might actually be playing it's the same thing again. I hope we don't lose to the same thing twice. That would be a little bit tough. But maybe with, um, with the second factory with the reactor. Actually, I'm going to switch it up and try it before the third CC because we haven't tried it yet. Like I, I told you guys, the early episodes are always about experimenting. So that's what we're going to do. Um... See, does it work out mineral-wise? Maybe I shouldn't actually have made the third gas. But I could always cut. Like, if you look at the timing right now, I'm going to be able to make a second Raven. And I think... Like, Ravens build very slow. I think I should be able to make consistent Ravens off of, like, one base gas. So, because I've already made my factory and stuff, maybe I accidentally did, like, the perfect timing. Getting the third gas really early. And then... You know, following it up by cutting it after I got my second raven. Oh, there's, <laughs> there's DTs. Actually, no way. Guys, it worked. That is insane. Perfect. Okay. Now, I do need my second raven. Dude, if I... Think about this, though. Like, I, I told you guys this would be insane against DT drop. But imagine if there's Archons. That would actually be terrifying. Might be morphing Archons right now. Let's see. Are there any Archons here? That's what they usually do. Oh, there's, oh, there's DT still. Maybe I can bait them out? Ah! Oh, how lucky. Come here. Oh. Okay, now the, the problem here is that I can't actually hunt the Prism. Because I don't have a Viking. But I could try to go for a killer timing attack with maybe three Ravens. And the armor missile and just dive in. See if it works. I think that would be pretty cool. I need to make sure that DTs don't come into my base uninvited. That would be... Like, DT skill worker so fast. If I have to wait for, like, four Hellions and a new Raven to build, I would lose a million workers to it, you know? Oh, it is Archons now. Okay. Well, let's see how well Hellions do against Archons, guys. It's probably not the best thing you've ever seen. Oh, my God. <laughs> my armor actually looks insane. Okay. I think it's time to go across the map. And then we can see if this stuff actually works. Now, what sucks here is that I've actually been... I mean, obviously, I have been fully scouted at this point. So, you know, we're not going to be able to surprise anyone anymore. Maybe the viewers. With a dub. Okay, I can always disable as well. That is not a bad strategy. Let's see. Okay. Well, I mean, there's nothing here yet. Let's see. Well, okay. Wait, there's actually no units here, guys. There's just... Let's do an anti-armor missile. And maybe a million thirds. Oh, wait, there's a, there's a battery. I should probably have waited for the battery. Like, okay, let's be honest. These aliens are not going to kill anything under a battery. So we should probably forget about that for now. Okay. I'm just terrified of the Archons, really. I feel like the Archons would really mess me up. I don't want to be messed up by a bunch of Archons. Okay, let's get another missile. Dude, you need so many aliens to one-shot these. Oh my god. Ah! No, please don't kill me. These Ravens are friendly. Now, I'm going to get a million more Ravens out. Dude, if there were the Archons here, I would have I gone in already, but I'm, I'm actually terrified. I can disable them. I'm going to go for the disables, I think. Here we go. Is it epic? I didn't have enough for an anti-armor missile. That was a bit unfortunate. Oh my god. Mass Hellions, guys. Okay, now we have to run because the Archons are free again. Whew. I'm gonna be honest, guys. I did not expect this episode to be so tense, okay? I 
call me arrogant, call me cocky, but I, I did really not expect this episode to be so tense before I even got to Master League. Now, oh, I actually have my Ravens alive, cool. I, for a second I thought I lost all of them. I think I lost one, one or two, which also not ideal, but it is what it is. Now, oh, I don't have an engineering bay. Obviously I want this to be a planetary, right? As per my strategy. Now, I... I'm actually going to try to run these by into the natural. Like, I feel like I'm just a little bit too far behind as we stand. And I need to do a little bit more damage here. I'm also going to get my extra PF up. Like I was talking about before. I think I just need this extra PF at this point. There we go. Okay. Hmm. Stalker still on the wall. Wait, did we bait it out maybe? Oh, we did bait it out. Let's go. Get in. Uh, we, did we get in or not? We didn't really get in. We almost got in. Oh, that's a really good warp in. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess it's time to just uh, sit back and make... Oh, that's the wrong building again. Uh, to make a lot of ravens, huh? I feel like there's not really much else uh, we can do at this point. Let's see. At this point, I have eight. I should probably get my upgrade. I can even get double eBay. Let's go for a double eBay on those. No upgrades yet on the stalkers. Okay. Gonna get a turret here. Probably a turret in the main for a prism. Actually, I do have a really good setup to deal with prisms because I can uh, disable them with my ravens, potentially. Now, kind of what I want to do here is... At some point, I'm going to move out of the ravens for sure. But now I just want to make sure to not die. And kind of... You know, if they move out, we can move in with the Hellions, basically. That is the plan. Okay. There's a prism here. I can probably warp some, or what do you call it, warp, put, put down some turrets is what I wanted to say. Oh, my missile turret, let's go. Wait, did it actually kill it? Oh, it did kill it, nice, let's go. All right, well, we have actually stabilized, seems like, and we are going to be able to get a lot of ravens out, which is good. Let's get the other upgrade as well. And I, yeah, we can probably get blue flame, like, to be fair, guys, blue flame doesn't really do anything. A lot of you ask me why, well, blue flame only does extra damage against light units and... I, I don't think I've seen a single light unit any time recently. But I feel like at this point, I might as well get it. I should also get armor, actually, for my yeah all my units, basically. That would be nice. Let's see. No upgrade. No armor upgrades, at least I should say. Probably get a sensor tower here as well. There we go. Uh, is there a fourth base? Oh. oh, there are some pros. That's nice. Plus one attack has been upgraded. I could probably go for... Similar to in the Ghost Challenge, I could probably make a million SCVs. Oh. Okay. I actually... No, I have more than enough now. I can disable everything. Well, if my Hellions want to come instead of my Ravens. Oh, that's a recall. Oh my goodness. Well, guys, that was not so bad. I. It's kind of hard to control because the, the Hellion damage is so low that you can see... Um, it doesn't matter if they target your ravens because the Hellion damage is so little. It's not going to kill their units anyway. So if they just target your ravens, it's actually going to be always painful. Now, is there a fourth base here? There's no fourth base yet, and I do have a lot of ravens. I could totally go into the main and, like, blow up a nexus or something like that, I think. Ooh. What is this? Oh, no. That's the wrong button. Let's put down some turrets. Okay. Oh, my God. Here we go. Okay, we're doing good here, guys. <laughs> this is pretty sick. Okay. Best turrets. Oh my goodness. Wait, how many blinks do they have? Oh my god. Did I lose units? I didn't really lose a lot of units. Okay, I think I have to, I'm going to fall back really soon. Yeah, this seems like the perfect time to fall back. And then I can repair all my units as well. Obviously, I need to keep in mind uh, my ravens are going to run out of energy and be low HP. Now, my raven control, still pretty suboptimal, uh, if we're being honest. Could definitely be better. Actually, I forgot about my rapid fire for a long time during that fight. Like, I didn't even use it at the start. Now, that fight is probably all fine. Can't imagine I'm going to lose too much with this PF next to it. Um... I'm actually going to run by. I'm going to use this one to upgrade Blue Flame. Get a third factory as well. And now I am on five starports. Probably too much, right? Like, can I really afford five starport Raven? <laughs> I Probably not. But uh, it is fun to try. 
And we're gonna... Oh, no. Oh, yes. There we go. I was gonna say, we're gonna find some pros here. And there was not a single pro to be found. That was a little bit unfortunate. All right. Here we go. See, I'm almost maxed. 2-1 upgrades on the Stalkers. That is pretty good. Um, can we really... Oh, what the hell are you guys doing here? <laughs> Oops. All right. Now, I think it's time that we maybe just, like, blow up a Nexus or something. And, oh, I, dude, I... I'm so stupid, I totally forgot. Like, for some reason in my head, my units were not gonna benefit from attack upgrades, but obviously with all the splash damage, I totally need attack upgrades for my Hellions too. Yeah, I, I definitely should have thought of that a little bit sooner. But I guess the more you learn, guys. Now, can we blow up this base real quick? I actually don't know if you can kill it that fast. Let's see, I guess. Oh, get, yo, that is not bad, actually. Oh, no, it's Phoenixes. Guys, help. There's Phoenixes here. Oh, no. Oh, by the way, one suggestion that I want to acknowledge as well is that a lot of people would like me to make Widow Mines. And I guess you guys uh, can vote for it at some point. Now, I don't want to change the challenge just yet. But at some point, if you guys say, uh, please make Widow Mines, then that is totally something I could do as well. All right, so we actually blew up that base completely. That was pretty sick. I guess I should probably just keep trading at this point. Oh my god. Let's get some turrets down here. Yeah, th these phoenixes are gonna be really annoying. Oh my goodness. Okay. Just need to make sure to get enough turrets everywhere, I suppose. Um, here we go. Turrets are... Wait, I only dropped one? Or did they die? I'm a little bit confused. Okay, well, now I'm just gonna drop a million turrets, I guess. Oh! That is something. Now we get a surround, but the battery's going insane, though. I actually do not have energy on these anymore. The, the, the battery's going crazy, though. It healed everything. Am I winning this or not? I have no idea. I lost all of my ravens already. Um, I don't know if I would call that a victory. Probably not. Well, I'm going to kill all these probes now, which is fantastic. There we go. Whew. That is a rough fight against Mass Stalker. Uh, but the Phoenixes as well. They just make sure that my Ravens are going to die. 100%. Okay, 128 supply. I mean, I have a lot of production. I'm going to get my stuff in time. I do need to get better at, you know, realizing when I can take the fights. It's. I feel like this is my... How would I say this? I feel like this is my worst challenge yet, and I don't mean that the challenge sucks, but it means that for my skill set, I feel like I'm not doing a good job, if that makes sense. Uh, like, this has definitely been rough. Like, none of the fights have been clean. Obviously, there's time to learn and all that, but, uh, but yeah. I'm definitely gonna have to get better at this. Do I want to get anywhere near Grandmaster, to be fair? Now, this is gonna be an absolute roasty here. Let's go. That's like, a f that's like 5 million probes. That is so many probes. Yeah, I'm always terrified of shield battery overcharge, but I feel like this is the one time where I'm still gonna get a lot of damage done despite the overcharge. I, there could be another base here, actually, on the left side. I didn't really check that yet. Let's see. Oh, there's not. Okay, and then I'm feeling pretty comfortable. Now, one thing that is a big difference between the ghost challenge and this, I already noticed, is that with the ghost you never really lose all of your units only when you die but now my raven count was totally reset and it's taking me ages to get it back up and that is actually pretty rough now i think it's a good time to split up my ravens i know that sounds pretty crazy because uh, there's phoenixes on the map oh by the way there's they should never have like an observer spotting my stuff if there's an observer somewhere here i should kind of be ashamed a little bit that i uh, didn't deny it faster here we go <laughs> I actually loved it. This is my favorite thing so far. The fact that I could blow up a Nexus that fast. It's like I have my, my Locust, you know? It's like I have a bunch of Swarm Host. Never really had that sensation before. M maybe with... Uh, at some point, Mass Cyclone was meta against Protoss, and you would just make like a million Cyclones. And... Uh, yeah, basically lock onto a Nexus and it would die instantly. Now, okay, at this point, we must have more than enough supply to win it out, I think. Our upgrades are probably similar. 3-1 against 2-1. Yeah, okay, here we go. Get a missile down. A million turrets. And that should be it, I think. 
Like, I know battery overcharge is really good. But... Oh, the dude, we actually got a six around here. Look at this surround. The auto turret surround. Oh my goodness. That was pretty insane. All right. 15 Ravens, 26 Hellions. Was the units lost? Still in favor of us. Okay. Uh, let, let's just do like a quick, just a quick recap. Because like, I want to know roughly how the fights went, what the supply looked like and stuff, right? So let's see. Now, uh, this was after my first attack on the bottom base. So I actually... The trades were actually really good. So in this case, I kept my Ravens alive. And I feel like that's a really big deal. Because like, I, I did enough eco damage. And obviously at this level, I'm still going to out macro them pretty hard. So here you can see, I have four Ravens and eight Hellions alive. And all of a sudden, the game didn't look that good. Because I didn't keep my Ravens alive, right? Um, and if I would always keep them alive, the game would always look decent. So I guess that's probably going to be the biggest part compared to this game. I would just need to make sure... That my ravens stay alive at all costs after all the fights. Alright, that was a pretty long game. And this was honestly a really intense episode. Two games. I'm going to call it for today. Uh, I feel like I have a lot of thinking to do. Because this was very, very difficult. I hope you guys enjoyed these intense raven games. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you did like the video. And I'll see you guys next time. Adios.